also with, um, you know, just uh, doing a lot more and like hosting and stuff. So it's nice to, to get back on the runway, and it's a, a great cause. This French connection. Uh, it's my brand. Oh, so I thought it said FC UK because I on the back. Oh, it does say fuck cancer. Oh, it says fuck cancer. Okay, so I thought it, it said FC UK right away. That's yeah, why. I, no, I, 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 this is like one of the coolest things about it is obviously it's for a good cause in prostate cancer. Um, but this is like New York through and through, so you see familiar faces in the show all the time. Uh, like when I first came to New York, this was. This was one of the first fashion shows I saw. Uh, I remember reaching out and saying I wanted to be involved, uh, especially because prostate cancer runs so major in my family and also in the black community. And then I got the tab uh, this year, so it's, you know, beyond just having fun and a good night, it's, it's definitely something that's personal. I totally, I totally thought this was going on my nose because I'm so used to it. <laughs> I was literally, I was like, I was rinsing because I'm so used to doing swaps. Alright, so this is me walking. I'm not going to be stiff as a board. Um, I think this is the point right here. What are you most excited about being part of something that's so personal to you? Um, I think the, the most exciting thing about being part of something like this is it just stands for something, right? I love fashion, I love letting expression show, and I think there's so many things out there uh, that sometimes the message can get lost in translation, but with this, it's, it's stayed true for as long as I've known it, you know? And it's it's so New York, it's so real, it's so authentic, and it's, it's just a beautiful thing. So, you know, I like to get a little swaggy, a little fresh, um, but, you know, more, more than anything, it's just being a part of something bigger than yourself. Absolutely, thank you so much, Dale.
was fun, right? It was, it was so sick. Um, I haven't walked a runway show since I lived in LA back in like 2000. 14 or something like that. Um, so I was like mad nervous right away, but as soon as you like get out there, it's, it's cool, right? And like, like everyone involved with this is just so sick. And um, again, like even just personally, it's a it's a great cause. It's a beautiful thing. It's been six years that they've been doing this um, uh, runway show, and it gets better and better each and every year. So I'm just happy to be involved. And like, I feel like I had a little. A little charm, a little slag, a little wing, all the things. Um, and now we just go to bed and start another day. So we're gonna keep doing things like this, just giving you a real look at all the things. Um, and that's what it's all about, right? You know, no, no script, no nothing, just real life. So like it, subscribe, check out the channel, um, drop the comments, let me know what you think, and we'll keep it going. All up, all up. Hey, so you just, oops, so you just saw my vlog about the New York Fashion Week Blue Jacket Runway Show, and it was an amazing experience. It's one of my favorite shows to do, and the reason is because it has substance. Now, while, you know, there's all the fashion, the style, there's a lot of famous faces involved with it, it is important that we never lose sight of the message and the purpose for that show. Prostate cancer is something that is affecting men all over the world, and it's disproportionately affecting black men. I personally have lost family members to it. I have family members who are going through this battle right now. And the only way to really change things is to normalize these conversations. And men, you have to go out there and get checked. You know, life is precious uh, every, every single moment, and we want to extend that and make it as fruitful and as beautiful as possible. So, you know, make sure to share this. If there's someone that you love and care about, encourage them to go and get tested. And together, through different things like this and normalizing these conversations, we can make it so uh, we extend some lives, we save some lives, and we make a change. All right.